Welcome to My Map My World. Today we are going to sculpt the hips. So each uh, pose will do both sides, but we will fatigue one side first. Okay, so if you want to start out with me in a wide child's pose. Widen the knees and set the glutes back to the hips. Relax and breathe right here. Coming up to hands and knees and just moving forward. And then coming back. Once again. And one more time. Sit back, relax, and breathe. Forehead down if you can, or forehead on the back of the hands. Your choice. When you're ready, coming up and moving the left knee toward the left wrist for pigeon pose. The left heel can be by the right hip and the toes stretch down the mat. You can stay right here if you like. What we're trying to do is stretch the hips, the glutes, and the, the inner thighs and the hamstrings as well as the hip flexor or the psoas. You can take this all the way to the floor if you feel like it. And coming out of that pose, back to the hands and knees, that same knee that was in front moves back, flex the foot, and bring it back in. Settle down on it. Make sure your knee is comfortable. If your knee is not comfortable, adjust your pose to um, heel beside the glute. Once again, breathe. When you're ready, coming out of the pose, stretch that foot back, flex the foot, and then bring it down, bringing the right knee in toward the right wrist. Stretch the other foot down the mat, sitting up nice and tall or taking it to the floor, forehead to the floor if you like. Find your breath and make it comfortable for your knee, your front knee. When you're ready, coming out, stretch that front knee back, flexing the foot, and bring it back in for pigeon. Same thing. Sit back and relax. Coming up, take that front knee back again, toes move back, heels, flex the foot, bringing it down, moving to one last child's pose, widen those knees, and sit back one more time. When you're ready, we are moving to the left side. So lay down on your left side. Your knees are going to be bent. Your head will rest on your forearm, so not this, okay, but this. Your top hand is in front of the body, and the knees are together. When you're ready, straighten the top leg and make circles. Remember which way you're going. You can make circles or squares. All right, so we're just going to do this for a little bit, and then we will reverse that circle. And when you're ready, reverse. And release, coming to hands and knees for glute pumps. We're going full range of motion here. If you want, you can bring a, a weight in and hook it behind the knee. So all the way up, all the way down.
and coming down. We are dropping the left elbow. We're still working the right leg and we are moving to fire hydrant. So left elbow, elbow is down, the right knee is up. Remember to breathe. When you're ready, come into hands and knees again, or fists and knees, and glute pulses. So right here at the top, tiny, tiny pulses. You can use your weight right here as well. When you're ready, stretch back for a child's pose. It doesn't matter wide knees or not, your choice. And we're moving to the other side. So coming around, I will be working the left side this time. Lay down whenever you're ready. Remember your forearm. Knees are bent. Stick one foot out and make your circles. One hand is forward. We're not rolled out of it. We're nice and tight right here in the front. When you're ready, reverse that circle. Now if you need to, if you're getting really, really tight, you can bend the knee and keep going or take a tiny rest. This uh, leg is really tired because it had to hold the leg up on the other side. It had to hold the body in position. When you're ready, relax for just a second. We're moving around for glute pumps. Full range of motion, hands and knees. If you want, bring your weight in. You can use your weight on nearly all of these. Up and down. And left leg is up, right elbow moves down. Here we move to fire hydrant. So as you can see, I'm keeping the weight. You don't have to. The other leg's tired, isn't it? <laughs> And coming to hands and knees or fists and knees and moving to the pumps. So tiny little pulses. I'm bringing it down. Take a quick little child's pose. Wide knees or not, your choice. Coming up, we will be working the right leg again on your side. Knees are bent, one hand in front. When you're ready, make your circles. Don't roll back, always stay forward on this one. Reverse. And when you're ready, moving to hands and knees. Take a little rest right here if you need to. Come up for those glute pumps, full range of motion. Bring your weight in if you like. Push it up.
bringing the left elbow down. The right knee is going to be the one working. So up and down. Fire hydrants. Oh my goodness, that hurts. And coming back to the hands and knees. Keep your weight if you like. Pulse, tiny pulses at the top. I'm bringing it down. Tiny child's pose if you like. Widen those knees, maybe, maybe not. And then moving to the other side, we'll be working the left side this time. Coming down, head on your forearm, bent knees, one hand in front, we're not rolled back. Bring that toe out when you're ready, make your circles. And reverse. Oh boy, that hurts. This side is getting a little wonky. Oh, and when you're ready, glute pumps. Use your weight if you like. We're still working the left leg. Full range of motion. When you're ready, take it up. Bring it down. If you're working the left leg, the right elbow moves down. Fire hydrants up and down. start the cool down, bringing it down. Oh, awesome job everybody. Coming into child's pose, widen those knees. And coming up, a nice little stretch right here. Push it back again. Coming up. Little tiny stretch. We're going to do one more after this. And coming up. Back to your child's pose. Moving the right knee toward the right wrist. Coming to chop to a uh, pigeon pose. If you like, you can take it all the way down. If you didn't on the first round, you can here. You're going to feel that stretch deepen just a little bit in that glute and the hamstring. When you're ready, coming up. 
and moving to hands and knees. Stretch that front knee back, flexing the foot, bringing it forward again, finding the same stretch, pigeon pose. Remember to readjust your foot. So take the heel where it's comfortable for your knee. up again, stretch that knee back, take your time, flex the foot, and let's move to the other side. So the left knee comes forward for pigeon. Like I said, if, it's to, um, if it feels good on your knee, you can take the, the heel a little closer to the right hip. If your knee is not comfortable, then bring the heel in closer to the glute. So whenever you're ready, Take it down if you like, keeping it up if you like. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? I'm coming up to the hands and knees. Stretch the one that's forward back, flex the foot, and when you're ready, bringing it forward again. Same pose, all the way down. What are you doing? Come away from there. Hey, hey. hands and knees, stretch that one back, flexing that foot, and release, coming to glutes. Stretching the feet out, cross one leg over, take the opposite arm around. So my right knee is up, my left arm is hugging my right knee. Unwind the pose and then bring that, that foot in to the inner thigh and stretch to the long leg. And again, feet in line. Bring the opposite one up. My left one is coming up. My right arm moves around my left leg. Looking back. Release the arms, bring that foot to the inner thigh, stretch to the long side. And that brings us to the end of our hip sculpting. Find a comfortable seated pose. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, twist. Inhaling up and exhale, twist. And our last one, inhale all the way up. Bring those hands to the heart center for your exhale. Thank you for joining me today. Be safe and be healthy. Namaste.